forgot to tell you last night. We came down to the beach right away, walked around a bit, and then decided to have dinner upstairs. It's uh, part of the Marriott. Uh, I think it's a nice terrace looking out. We got to watch the sunset. Got some good drone shots in. How'd you like that? That was amazing. Anyway, Carol came down and met me, and then we're looking for a grocery store, but all the grocery stores that came up that are closed are like liquor stores with convenience attached. And Carol's like, why don't you grab a coffee? It's open. So this is uh, Masubi, Masubi coffee. Of course, we'll have a morning spam, hot and spicy. And they got cow piss, but they call it different here. Lychee. Oh, spam lunchbox. <laughs> Look at the size of that calico, calico, calico. Mm. So this place, like, it's a little, a little gem that we found. What are they called? The Something in the rye. No, it's the wrong thing. Yeah. A diamond in the rough. That's what we found. A diamond. So, just went in there for the coffee, but they serve spam sushi all day long. So I'm gonna be doing a food review there later on, probably today. And it'll just be a straight up gorilla shot type style food review. So I don't wanna edit. I don't want to edit on my holiday, but I want to still shoot fun things like that for you guys. So let's let's do this coffee right here. It's a little weak. Carol put two creams in it, one sugar. It's not strong coffee. It's, it's not like they are a coffee shop, although it's a cafe. It's like they got one pot of coffee, and uh, I'm not sure where they get their coffee from. Anyway, let's go back to the hotel. Right now we're just gonna shop for some food. Uh, we're at Safeway. And uh, it wasn't just about uh, two kilometers approximately, I think, away. Let's do some Hawaii shopping. by the beach and we went to like a convenience store. One of these things of milk was $8, but here it's uh, $3.59 or $4.99. So they've got, a, I think, a few things in the wrong spot, but it's probably $4.99 here. Wow, big difference. So far we got stuff like marinara, then we got some coffee, some syrup, and some pancake mix. Carol's got her favorite checks. We've got chips, used to call. Ben had this on his burger last night, or beside his burger. There's even more stuff in there. We've got bread, cereals. We're, we're saving a lot orange of money. Juice orange juice, oh, we need orange juice. Just get like a... You don't like orange juice that often though, do you? I like orange juice, I just don't drink it. Now we're looking for veggies, and there are a lot of veggies that we can choose from here. In Hawaii. They've got some pretty cool things that you don't normally see. Lettuce. 
There was one thing in here I thought I wanted to show you guys. Apple jack cinnamon. Yeah, so we got regular and then onion. I want to try some stuff. We got some presents for people. Lots of shopping. Obviously we came back from shopping and uh, it's just after 12 we just had a little snack to eat and uh, I'm just finished uploading my video for you guys to watch it's at 95% processed but uh, yeah so I just told them to go because it's only have a couple seconds left on this yeah it's 1230 got some boogie boards that were left here by the owner of this place and uh, we'll go down to the beach, swim. You guys can stay here, I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to stay behind. guys to finish off today's vlog uh, we went swimming had lots of fun down there brought the boogie boards uh, the place that we rented had like three boogie boards so we got to play with them for a little bit got to play in the ocean for quite some time uh, go up to where the surfers are and watch them surf then we came back in and then we walked up and down the beach and I inquired about renting the outrigger canoes which is like a canoe with like another little outrigger off to the side and uh, I think one place will do it for like all four of us could go and it's like a hundred bucks so 25 bucks a person so and they it's not time it's how many waves you can catch so they'll let you catch two waves so if, if you paddle all the way out and then you catch a wave right away and you surf all the way back in on the on the outrigger and then paddle all the way out and catch another wave really fast and come in then that's it it's all done it's over but if it takes you an hour, then it'll take you an hour. If you don't catch the right wave, they'll they'll make sure that you catch the right wave. So, which is kind of cool. Then we also investigated renting surfboards, and the people on the beach. This is a nice lesson for you guys and what just learned today. The people on the beach will rent you a surfboard for five days, one hundred and eighty dollars for five days. And we want to rent two boards, so it's three hundred sixty, three hundred and sixty dollars. Uh, and it's like, wow, okay, let's think about that for a little bit longer. And then we came home, we relaxed for a bit, and I went out and flew the drone a little bit more, and then uh, came back, went out for dinner, and we we didn't want to. Sp Spend as much money as we did last night, so we tried to find something a little bit, a little, a little more low key. So we kind of walked walked away from Waikiki a little bit. Found a, a Mexican place called La Cucaracha, and uh, I had a burrito dinner. And of course, I had another mai tai and, and uh, good food. I liked it. The guy's name was Corey that worked there. He was a good guy, and 
um, right below it is a surf shop. So we said, let's go down there and just check. Hundred dollars for seven days, right, Ben? Hundred bucks for seven days, like huge. It's a little bit different. Huge. Di what's different? Like I think the other one, um, you can keep locked up and such. I think this one you have to bring back by eight. I don't think. The other no, the, the other guy said if you want to rent it and take it up to your hotel room yeah, instead of bring it back to them. You can't do that with this one, I don't think. Chances are if you ask, he just says you had to put a deposit on it. Uh, That's what the guy on the beach says. If he goes, if, if you really wanted us to bring it up and down at your, at your leisure, then it's, uh, you had to put a deposit down on the visa or whatever. And that way, if you steal the board, then. But they want you to bring the board back every single night and they lock it up. Um, the place, the could, the good thing about the beach guys, no, there's no, nothing good about the beach and <laughs> the guys in the beach. Cause chances are the guys that have the store, they will allow you to bring it back every time you stop surfing. So let's say you went out and did a, an hour surf in the morning. You could probably bring the board back, give it to them. They'll store it for you until you go out again later on that eight, that day. Uh, so it's good to shop around people. That's all I'm going to say. So we've got a great day and, uh, tomorrow we're going to Hanahuma Bay. Hope I said that right. And it's basically a volcano that collapsed thousands of years ago, hundreds of years ago, whatever, and filled with water and became a beautiful coral reef inside this volcano. So that's what we're going to do tomorrow. So look forward to that and we'll see you later. One more thing before we go. Uh, I wanted to talk to you about Safeway. The lady at Safeway saw how much groceries we were buying and she's like, where are you guys from? We're like Canada. And she's like, if you get this card, It'll save you a lot of money. And we're like, yeah, okay. And, and so we got the card. Saved us $69, 60, $65. So the, the bill would have been like $469, but it came to $400, just over $400 and five bucks or something like that. So the lady was awesome, super helpful and Safeway. That's where you gotta buy your groceries. It's not an ad, I'm kidding. But nice lady anyway.